permission to board the boat. Welcome Member of Parliament representing the government of Canada. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Thank you. And first of all, I'd like to acknowledge the Coast Salish peoples. It is a pleasure to be on your traditional territory today. It's also my privilege to bring greetings from the Government of Canada to all of you here on the final stop of the Salish Sea Expedition after a highly successful tour for National Science and Technology Week. The response has been gratifying. I have to say, talking to especially the citizens, they've, they're uh, thrilled to know how the work that we're doing in their backyard. They're thrilled to know that um, the science that we're doing is applied science relevant to issues that are concerned to ordinary Canadians. And uh, I think uh, science in is infectious. So these are sections of a core that came from one piston core hole just off Long Beach in Tofino. And if you'd like to touch it, this is 10,000 year old mud that was deposited out from underneath a melting ice sheet. It was just a wonderful, wonderful experience and we had so much interest in the local communities about the science that we're doing that hopefully is going to contribute to us making some really smart decisions uh, for the sustainability of communities in the Sailor Sea area. Yeah, this is awesome. I like the little, um, the little one that has the eggs on it and then it has plankton on it. It's pretty funny. Um, I brought my son and my nephew aboard today and um, they've really enjoyed the experience learning all the different technologies um, that's associated with science and ocean. That's plankton? Yep, yeah, that's plankton. Whoa. Oh, all okay, sorts of sizes. Right. Chief then to yeah. get a good look. It's been an amazing week. We've seen so many people, all sorts of age ranges, kids from you know preschool all the way up to seniors come aboard the ship. I'm tell you honestly, I'm exhausted. It's been a long, long week. We've done about 60 or 70 tour groups just in my little tent here alone with the equipment, but also every single day we've met so many neat people and had lots of stories and everyone is so interested in what we're up to here. Sonar uses sound that travels in the water and then it bounces off a surface or something hard and it comes back. We have that yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, you know, it's so cool to have all the kids coming around and like not too sure what's going on and suddenly you bounce ball in front of them and they're like, oh man, I understand what the multi-beam sonar is. You know, I didn't think they would understand sonar, but I think we got good props for this. So it's just nice they ask questions. And it's been exhausting because I don't teach every day, but it's been, you know, it's it's a it's really enlightening. Like, yeah, it's very much fun. So this is what we used to see uh, uh, on the surface. Over here is our main control console. Um, this allows us to station keep uh, while we are um, deploying our scientific data. It's been a it's been an amazing week. It's been a wonderful week. Uh, my 22 years with this organization, I've never had uh, an experience like this. So uh, my entire crew is enjoying it. Uh, it's hard work, no denying it's hard work, but uh, everybody from uh, our engine room, our galley staff, they've been phenomenal. And uh, I'm lucky I've got a fairly young crew and a new crew to this uh, career, so they're very enthusiastic. It gives us an opportunity to showcase some of the uh, career opportunities that are available um, throughout the entire spectrum of the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and the Coast Guard. The, the whole focus of the Salish Sea Expedition has been the ability to go to some coastal communities that haven't had this opportunity. Um, so uh, to see some of the little ones, the middle school ones and everything, uh, it's, it's really opened their eyes up and uh, maybe we, uh, we'll have some future scientists out of this. The natural state usually for the last three half million years has been ice. For me the most interesting thing about this was the piston coring because it was just how easily we could drill through to hit the bottom and see thousands of years all in one glimpse. So it's interesting just to see like the contrast between 1,000 years and 2,000 years. Cool. Well we've had an absolutely wonderful week on the uh, Salish Sea Expedition. Our goal was to bring a floating science center to some of the smaller communities around the Salish Sea and what a reception we've had. For us, you know, the success is to see the enthusiasm of the kids and the, um, you know, who come around and uh, they they seem to always kind of find some of the questions that that, that are, you know, uh, that that bring out some of the best kind of uh, information that you know for them. And uh, I think it's in many ways a model for 
how we should do public outreach. We know we engage people. We 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 bring science to to places that uh, don't usually uh, get a lot of this kind of information. So. Really and truly, this has been a huge success from that point of view. We, we dissolve it down and how much chemical we add to it to take titration. it back to a clear color oh. through titration. Okay. Yeah, so then we can do a back calculation. Okay. Okay. So how many chemical, drops how many drops, yeah, up to a yeah. milliliter or so. Yeah. I find that them coming and giving the opportunity to the public to see what they do, show the research that they do, and tell us about their days on the ocean, I think is amazing. And um, yeah, I just find the concept really awesome to do that. And for me, I would love to go out and be on the ocean all the time and be a marine biologist. And um, so this was a really good opportunity for me to kind of get it to know what it's like and stuff.